So let me take you through the items that are important and that you've got to have to do this job. So firstly, you will need a dusting brush. I prefer using a dusting brush which has a nylon bristle. So kind of like the nail brush type of brush. That's the ones we're going to use for this one. I'm going to be spraying my cleansers into those bristles. So that is why I would prefer if you have a nylon brush. So if you are prepping with an e-file, you have probably come across these two bits. The first one being the Russian ball bit, the other one being the Russian pointed bit. The ball bit is available in various sizes as well, but we've got the small bit in stock at the moment. So, when prepping with these bits, it's important to know what they are exactly used for. So the ball bit is actually used for preparation around the skin area, almost as if it's an exfoliating bit which smooths out the cuticle area it's not meant to be used on the nail surface because if you can see from the clip of me putting it against the nail surface if you are using it you can gouge out the customer's nail so don't use the ball bit on the surface of the natural nail what can be used on the surface is the pointed bit but be careful not to use it in an upright position because you can stab into that cuticle area which is very sensitive your matrix area is right there so always keep it flat that's the best way i don't know if my little clip is showing you exactly what to do there but try and keep it flat so that you don't gouge out the nail and cause unnecessary damage if you are unsure and not feeling confident then do a little e-file course just to get your confidence levels where they should be and to help you understand what all the bits are for and how to use them correctly so we are going to be prepping with a file for this video. So the general hand file, because not everybody has an e-file. So we'll doing, we're doing it the ABC way. We're starting at A, starting with a hand file. And then we will be using a block buffer for the surface of the nail. And we will need a metal cuticle pusher. I love this one. It's very comfortable to use. And also metal is fully sanitizable. So metal pusher to push back our cuticles, which is going to be the gentle way to do it. And then we will be needing the Squire Cleanser. Cleanser will be used to remove dust in between the surface of our application as we go along. Not in between our gel layers, but that's for video two. So let's not get ahead of ourselves. Um, we're going to be spraying our cleanser into our dusting brush. I'll show you later in the video how we're going to do that. And then once we have used our cleanser, we move on to our second cleansing product, which is called Dehydrate. So Dehydrate just removes the oils and temporarily dehydrates the surface of the nail, giving you the perfect, perfect surface for your primer to be applied to. So each layer and each surface that we do is quite important. So just remember, preparation is key. Protein Bond is an amazing product. We can use it with our acrylics gel, builder gels, infinity, whatever. It is just the best bonding agent. It's kind of like a double-sided tape. So it's a non-acid primer, which acts as an agent between the product and the natural nail to give you the best bond. Can't leave home without Protein Bond. Right, so let's begin. So using my nail for science today, we are going to be prepping this nail with the first step, which is pushing back cuticles. So starting from one side and working our way over to the other side of the nail, we're gently going to push back our cuticles. So be careful, try not to lose force. It's not one movement where we are forcing the cuticle back in one push. Rather go repeating the step from side to side, working with the cuticle pusher almost as if you were bouncing it back and gently pushing back. If you do encounter a customer who is a nail biter and somebody with a really bad cuticle, I would suggest doing a manicure first instead of trying to force back the cuticles with one push of a, of a little cuticle pusher. It might be a bit of a task, so then you could do a job of a manicure and then move on to the gel polish. So now once we've pushed back, we're going to use our file and I'm using the tapered end of my 100-180 file and I'm going to be starting on the one side of the nail, working my way over around the cuticle area, right around to the other side wall. So you'll notice that I'm using like a little circular movement here. So the pressure is actually quite light. There is not a lot of pressure being applied here. I'm allowing the file to do its job. 
and using the circular motion is kind of mimicking a exfoliation motion. So if I'm saying exfoliating the nail surface, I'm meaning it's a light back on the surface. We are only removing the top surface oils. There is no need to file the natural nail away. Um, that is when a lot of damage is also caused and where most of the damage is caused. And we automatically believe it's the product that damages the nails when in fact it's the preparation procedure that was a little bit too aggressive. So lightly prep sidewalls and cuticle area. I'm going to give it dust and now I'm going to use my buffer to remove the surface shine of the rest of the nail. You could use your file but I would prefer that you gain a little bit of confidence um, before using a file to remove the shine of the whole surface. So let's use the buffer and lightly we will start from the one side and buffing over that whole surface area we're going to remove the shine. Take your time for preparation, there's no rush. Um, fast preparation is never good preparation and a lot of the time people underestimate the importance of having a 100% prep nail because your product's gonna lift if there's no, um, if it's not done properly. So take your time and just make sure that you're doing it 100%. So I'm using the corner of my buffer just to make sure that I've got all my little dead skins that could be sitting on the nail plate removed and making sure that there's no shine on the surface of the nail. So lightly, lightly, just using my buffer and going over the entire surface of the nail plate. What I will do next is use my file and I'm going to shape my nail. So this is where your customer would guide you along the lines of what shape she is requiring. If not, you would just use what is there and shape and neatly get a uniform shape from finger to finger to get the best nail shape for this customer's hand. In my case, I really love going square, especially when my nails are short. So I'm doing a little square, neat and off shape and making sure all that work is done before I start my final stages of prep, which is coming up now. So, you could use a lint free wipe and spray it with cleanser and wipe the surface of the nail. If you're like me, I'm gonna spray my cleanser directly into my dusting brush and I'm gonna dust off using the nylon bristle brush with the cleanser. I just feel it gives a good scrub and you don't get left with any fluff on the nail. So my lint free wipes, I love cleaning off my tools as I'm going along in between and I love using the dusting brush just to look at cleanser to dust off in between. Personal preference. So using your nipper, now if you have any hangnails, is the time to nip them away. So I'm only trimming away where I can see little white hangnails, the little skins that stand up on the sides. Those are the ones that I'm trimming away. I'm not going to trim the whole cuticle away, it's totally unnecessary. It's trimming away healthy skin and when you start trimming away healthy skin, you're going to have the basic problem of cuticles growing back thicker with every surface, so it's not necessary. So on to our dehydrate. So I'm going to paint this over the entire surface of the nail and it's going to draw out the oils on the surface of the nail. So remember, it's a temporary dehydrator. It's just working for the few minutes until you apply your primer and your gel polish. So if I paint it over and I hold it up to the camera, you can probably see how it pulls the oils out on the surface of the nail. Right, that's what we want. Now I've got the perfect surface for my protein bond. Now remember guys, important thing is once you apply a protein bond, your customer cannot touch anything. Not her phone, not running her fingers through her head, not nothing. She just has to keep her hands on the table and keep that surface dust free. So protein bond only onto the free edges. It's not necessary to prime the whole surface of the nail because I'm going to be using rubber base in video two and that already has its own very adhesive property. So this is proper preparation video one. I hope you enjoyed it. Next video is going to be all about painting base coat, color and top.